Let me begin by asking a very simple question. Do we know the truth about what really happened in the 2020 election? I think millions of Americans know something went wrong and they have little pieces and no one's really put it together. I'm agnostic on this question and I, I am awaiting more information. If I believed the president were a Nazi, I might steal an election. Bold accusations require bold evidence and they haven't seen it. We have been working on something big. Show me the money. Can we meet? I've been working with Greg Gillis. He has a deep background in election intelligence. True the Vote has the largest store of election intelligence for the 2020 elections in the world. No one has more data than we do. We identified in Atlanta 242 mules that went to an average of 24 drop boxes. But Philadelphia alone, we've identified more than 1,100 mules. 1,100 mules. Dinesha Souza has a new uh, a, a weird documentary movie thing, sensationalist thing called 2,000 Mules. Uh, and he uh, premiered this, apparently at mar lago had a bunch of people show up, it was awesome, it was great. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of the trailer there as you saw. Uh, now, they were talking about dropping off in ballot boxes and all the stealing of the election. And and if I thought the president was a Nazi, I'd steal the election too. Or if I was a Nazi and agreed with the Nazi president, I would also say that he didn't really lose. You know how those things work, we can always just say whatever we want. But it should be uh, noted that dropping off uh, uh, um, ballots to vote, in the country called America is not illegal. Let's go to some of this. Uh, True the Vote has said that it found some 2,000 ballot harvesters by purchasing $2 million worth of uh, anonymized cell phone geolocation data in various swing counties across five states. If a cell phone went near a drop box more than 10 times and a nonprofit more than five times from October 1st to election day, True the Vote assumed its owner was a mule. Uh, and it's, an, it's its name for someone engaged in illegal ballot collection schemes in cahoots for a nonprofit, of course, called them animals. Um, also, the group's claims of a, of a paid ballot harvesting scheme are supported in the film only by one identified whistleblower said to be from San, uh, San Luis, Arizona, who said that she saw people picking up what she assumed to be payments for yeah. ballot collection. The film contains no evidence of such payments in other states in 2020. Of course, that's how this works. Plus, experts say that cell phone location data, even at its most advanced, can only reliably track a smartphone within a few meters. Not close enough to know whether someone actually dropped off a ballot or just walked or drove nearby. And what's more, ballot drop boxes are often intentionally placed in busy areas such as college campuses, libraries, government buildings, and apartment complexes, which increases the likelihood that innocent citizens got caught in the group's dragnet. <sighs> of course, really fast, let's go through some of the people that showed up. I'm sorry, uh, more from this, uh, because let's jump down to this next site, you guys. Because oddly, um, there's little media coverage about this whole film and, and all this scandal that they broke in, as we've seen with things like Mike Lindell and all their uh, exposés. Hey, but JR. there was this one Russian or a, 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 a media, or at least one show that did pick it up. I wonder why, watch how they picked it up, because this is great. Незабываемые выборы в США, которые ознаменовались беспрецедентным уровнем фальсификации убийств, снова на повестке дня. Дональд Трамп анонсировал фильм расследования об избирательной кампании 2020 года, который получил название «2000 мулов». А под термином «мул» подразумевает людей, причастных к скупке бюллетеней и последующему вбросу при голосовании по почте. <laughs> yes. Man, you know, how like, can you, you miss know, like, the mules? John Oliver, real quick, you know like on John Oliver when they make fun of the Weather Channel for having like those ridiculous uh -huh. graphics of where like, and you wouldn't believe the size. Because they do it for fun, store. I would think. Like that's exactly what this is. Like, look, I, I hadn't seen the trailer. I refused to see it. You showed it. And I gotta be honest, it's not a documentary. No, no, it's a comedy. It have to be. It's a comedy. <laughs> this is hilarious. What you have is an entire room of people who are trying to outgriff the other in order to make a point to appease the the dear leader that is Donald Trump. This is the calling card, and I've talked about this many times. There are so many people who have boosted their own net worth. They have boosted their profits by just going in this direction. It's practically like if you were to fill out like a form of how loyal you are 
All you have to write is the election was stolen. Even though every single Trump judge that they appointed threw it out. Now, when it comes to Dinesh D'Souza, okay, he has a history of being conspiratorial. He talked about it when he was like 20 or 21. He's like, I, I say outlandish stuff and I can't believe that I'm getting written about in the New York Post and the New York <laughs> Times. Like, they like, look, this past week, uh, Anna was very passionate, but she said something that is true. They tell you what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Like, they tell you, they tell you what they're going to do before they do it and they execute. This is just part of the plan. And the, oh, the cherry on top is Donald, Donald, I made this film. Let me come to Palm Beach and show it to you. 100%. Can I show it to you? Can I kiss your feet anymore? Could I possibly run your errands? Like, that's all that this is. And how people don't see past it is amazing to me. Well, it's because it's based within their hate. He 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 uh he collected his group with hate when he went down the escalator, and ever since then they can't let go because their basis for their collective uh, agreement is based in absolute extreme hate. So whatever way they get to that, to back to the hate, they'll take it. A bunch of celebrities showed up, conservative celebrities showed up, so they were very happy to be there.